Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a good day. Before we dig into it, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, comment below. Let's get down to it. This is going to be an overview of the starter pass from INE, and this is free. So if you're looking for affordable or free training that's quality, be sure to check out the starter pass here. It can help you get started in your cybersecurity career or help you learn new topics or subject areas that you're unfamiliar in, or if you want to build up on that subject area. Let's scroll down here, set yourself up for a successful career. And it just explains what this starter pass entails. It says here free access to a selection of INE's networking, data science, cybersecurity, and cloud courses organized in easy to navigate learning paths. Your cyber your starter pass experience is unique to you and based on your IT interests and goals. As you can see here, it'll tell you which ones you'll have free access to networking cybersecurity i mean cloud azure fundamentals first steps with data science with python if you want to get into programming or learn more about a specific program language it's got python listed here and it'll help you through that process and each and one of these i'm sure have labs if they're similar to the penetration testing student one that's the one i did to prepare for the ejpt certification i'll be looking at a few others here probably go into this networking one here so I can get a refresher on that, the networking concepts taught. But with any of these courses or certifications, be sure they apply to your career path or where you want to go in your career and that you're actually learning the concepts and not just memorizing things because it'll come back and bite you in the butt when you try to take a certification. If you just memorize things and not actually understanding what's being taught and then you get a question that relates to that, like, oh, what do I do now? because I just memorized a bunch of different things instead of actually learning the concepts being taught. And it comes in handy throughout your career as well because the employer just doesn't want you to memorize things. You're gonna to have to solve complex issues and then actually use critical thinking skill to come up with, it, with a solution or multiple solutions to resolve things. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Be sure to check out this training here. It's pretty good. I mean, I've taken the one for the EJPT. If you like this video, Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, comment below, and give your thoughts, opinions on the video. Thank you.